You know lead code, I know lead code, you know I know that you know lead code, but why? Why do we torture ourselves with lead code? So I made a video on why there is a huge problem in tech right now, and I essentially say there is too many people who are looking for jobs, and well, with not enough jobs available to support them. I also, in the second half of the video, doubled down on the bigger issue, which I think, and then that is lead code, and how lead code is a necessary evil. Why would I say something like that? Do I hate lead code? Yes. Do I think it's unnecessary? Kind of. Do I think it's a good indicator of, of a candidate's capabilities on the actual job? Absolutely not. You see, lead code doesn't only showcase that you know how to identify a problem and can really talk your way through it with a person in a pressure situation, a technical interview, or that you can recognize what algorithm to use or what data structure to apply, lead code also showcases that you're willing to solve the problem, understand it to a point where if seen again, you will be able to recognize the pattern and the solution that follows it. And why this is so important in programming is because we have no idea what the fuck we're doing. One day something's going to work, the next day it won't. Why, why lead code? Why do lead code at this point? If big fang tech jobs aren't hiring as aggressive as they use anymore what's the point well if you just enjoy doing lead code or these brain puzzles and work your brain you can stop watching because do it if you enjoy lead codes that much and you enjoy the brain exercise it gives you then by all means it's a great tool lead code is phenomenal but if you are grinding lead code which i think the majority of you are just to get a job because it's required i think you should listen up i think if you're doing lead code to grind into fang you're going to be doing a lot of lead code not only are you going to, have to be prepared for an in technical interview a pressure cooker situation but you're probably gonna to have to do more medium to hards instead of easy to mediums because the competition is so fierce and like i hinted at earlier lead code isn't the best in indicator of a candidate's capabilities. I think it's actually could do the opposite. You see, the issue with lead code is you can have a candidate who's really good at lead code, like phenomenal at lead code, but just are really bad at software engineering. And I mean, like really, really bad. And do I blame them? Kind of, but I blame more the system that they orchestrate in their head where lead code equals good engineering, which is not true. I know so many engineers who are just dog water lead code, and these are some of the best engineers I've ever met. Me, I'm not good at lead code. I have to prepare. It's going to take me 30 days at a minimum to get to the point where I can be comfortable interviewing. But in terms of programming engineering, I feel I can do that anytime. Anytime someone asks me a question about a system or whip out a programming IDE and start coding, I can do that right now because it's more innate to my abilities, more innate to what I actually do on a day to day basis. You see, Fang bubble essentially burst. Fang is not going to hire that many engineers anymore. And if they do, it's going to be competitive and the salary is going to be as lucrative as it once was. And what does this do? Well, it opens the door for a lot of new startups, a lot of smaller companies to hire engineers. And what I've seen personally going through some of these interviews is that they're not asking lead code questions. I was interviewed for a founding engineer at a company at a startup in San Francisco. And the question they asked was literally an application based question. And they wanted me to implement auth. That was the question. They wanted me to implement auth. And then they wanted me to implement a Google calendar in the second round interview. I did a bit of system design and I did a bit of programming showcasing that not only do I know how the system should work, but I can also program it and showcase how much I can do in 45 minutes. And this interview still strikes me as some of the best way to interview a person's skills, especially a founding engineer. Companies who are raising capital or are trying to push their product don't give a shit if you know how to lead code or not. They care, can you program and can you solve the problem that they specifically have? When you tune your brain too much to lead code, you put yourself at risk for pigeonholing yourself to just solving lead code problems. And I see this all the time with junior engineers entering big fan companies. So my advice for you, if you are interested in lead code and you like solving these puzzles, like these Sudoku type, you know, brain teasers, by all means do it. I have nothing bad to say. You are incredible, smart, talented, and it will pay off. When you want to interview a fan company, it will be like second nature to you. But if you're doing it just for the grind of fang, I would take a step back and really realize and analyze your situation. Is this truly something you want to do? And while you're grinding lead code, ask yourself, do I still know 
how to develop and program. If you invest your time into lead code and you apply it to a fan company, it will and can pay off just as long as you're able to switch your mind away from lead code and get into actual practical problem solving. Just be careful about the issue when you want to really focus on lead code. Don't devote your whole life personality and learning into just what lead code offers. After the interview, I bet the majority of you will never touch lead code again. I know so many engineers who only touch lead code when they want to go interview. And nowadays for me personally, if I were to leave my job, I would probably start applying to companies who don't focus too much on lead code style questions because a, I'm no longer at that junior level to prove just based on lead code capabilities, but my interviews would be more focused on system design, architecturing a whole application and actually writing code that reflects that design. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are lead coding, God bless you. And if you're not awesome, should you ask yourself, but I gotta leave you guys with two things. The first one is, do you like lead code? You can tell me. I'll keep your secret. Don't worry. And two, you got to power it.